In previous videos, we spoke about the deep front line and its importance in maintaining your posture and alignment and ensuring that load is evenly dissipated across your body when you're moving. We also spoke about the six functional systems that are integrated and connected by the deep front line and how weakness in any of these systems will lead to a weakened deep front line which will then lead to the overloading of specific joints in the case of OP, your adductors. What I want to do now is get really get stuck into the deep front line and what it means to your posture when you're moving and how the six functional systems relate to this. The version of us in the ideal world. Now each of these red dots, they represent one of your major joints. So one of your major weight bearing joints. So you can see the pelvis, the hip, the knee, the ankle, the shoulder joint, the bottom of the neck, the top of the head. These are all the major moving joints of your body and they're all aligned over each other, which means that load is distributed evenly from your toes all the way up to your head and then back down again. And the DFL, it's the DFL's job, your deep front line, to keep that alignment. So you can see that these muscles are going straight through the center of your body. So this fascial chain is going right through this central line through here. And that's what makes up your center of gravity. When your DFL engages, it pulls your joints back into your center of gravity. Now, unfortunately, in reality, most of us don't have this perfect center of gravity. They don't have this perfect alignment of their body. And we start to see shifts in posture. So in this image here, we've got someone with an anterior pelvic tilt. So you can see that that pelvis has now been shifted forward. And you can see that the lower back is arching. And then you have the neck pulling forward. And these things are occurring because you've changed your pivot points. You've changed where the load is distributing. So as the pelvis is pulled forward, the knees now have to go backwards. And so you have this counterbalancing effect occurring to make sure that you don't just fall over. But as you counterbalance, you're now creating extra pressure. Because your pelvis is now further forward than the rest of your hips, you've got all this pressure being shunted towards your pubic bone. Because your neck is now having to push forward to counterbalance for the fact that your hips are backwards, you've now got this pressure in the, in the bottom of your neck through here. You essentially have shifted the load from being a nice straight line where everything gets dissipated evenly across this deep front line to advantaging and overloading certain areas like your pelvis and underutilizing other areas like your mid back and your shoulders through here. And so obviously you're gonna break at the points that get loaded up. And the thing to remember is this failure of posture, this swaying through here, this hyperextension of the knees, this is all being caused because your six functional systems in your deep front line is collapsing. Your core is failing to engage and pull your, pal your spine and pelvis back into correct alignment. Your toe flexors are failing to engage and keep your knee and your feet in the correct positions. So when the six functional systems fail, the deep front line fails, and the deep front line fails, you start to see changes in your posture, which then causes you to move We're using those OP mechanics. Because your core's not engaging, your hip starts to drop, your pelvis drops, so you're overloading the front of your pelvis. And obviously these OP mechanics then lead to you developing osteitis pubis. I like to think of your DFL as the rails of good posture. When it's active, your joints, the line of your body, your center of gravity is held in check. The key is, as we'll discuss in the next video, is being able to move within your center of gravity. Because if you can do this, then you can evenly dissipate load up and down your body without overloading specific joints. If you can't do this and your DFL is weak, like say in the case of OP, you're more likely to let load sink into one joint over the other such as your adductors, which is then gonna to lead to them becoming overloaded and dysfunctional, hence the development of osteitis pubis. Hey there. That video was probably really complicated. OP is really complicated. So why don't you let me explain it to you in person? Book in for a free 20 minute Skype consult. I can assess you, tell you what OP is, you can ask me as many questions as you like. We can go into detail about the Skype process and how it works and we can start working on the things that you need to do to fix your OP and get back to your life. So please, book in for a free session, it's completely obligation free, and let's get started.